Hey everyone, welcome to a short update on Project LS400. Uh, in the recent video of the second part of the ECU repair, one of my Eagle Eye viewers noted something that might be off and it triggered me to look again into the ECU which I have on my desk. And let me give you a closer look on what's going on in there. It looks terrible with this close-up view, but um, when I soldered this diode in, um, uh, one viewer commented that it seemed that the soldering pad on the circuit board came loose. And But indeed, uh, this soldering joint over here uh, is soldered to the soldering pad, but the soldering pad came loose from the circuit board. So this is not connected to anything on the circuit board at this moment, and that's not good, even though the car, my LS400, ran fine. Oh, yes. Look for some information on the internet and um, let you know what I'm going to do or let you know what I did. So is, this is the diode I desoldered again from the circuit board and as you can see it's neatly attached to the soldering pads. But the soldering pads um, ain't attached to the circuit board no more. Let's get that in focus. And exactly there is where the soldering pad should be here and there they're completely off and I noticed in between those I believe those are transistors are the lines that traces towards these pads and they also appear to be damaged there's also a bit of green corrosion on this lead of that transistor over there but anyway um, first I'm gonna do is try to measure continuity on these traces and then see if I can find a way to reattach the soldering pads again to the circuit board maybe scrape off some material get to the bare copper trace and try to get a, get these pads back on um, this is some severe damage I didn't notice but probably that 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 compound that wore off the, the lead of the original diode has um, corroded into these pads and also to this lead and the lines there so it's pretty severe damage don't know what the cause of that compound is it looked like an um, electrolytic compound coming from a capacitor but there's no electrolytic capacitor to be seen in the proximity of these pads so if anyone has a hint please let me know I scraped off some of the material on the traces and I'm going to check for continuity That one's okie dokie, and the other one. Is also okie dokie. When I try to desolder the pads from the diode, I accidentally dropped it on the floor and now I can't find it anywhere. So now I need to find a way to uh, recreate or create new pads and that stick to the board. And I first came up with using aluminum tape and cut new pads out of it, maybe cut, even cut new traces out of it and I tested it. It's very conductive, but I'm not sure if I can solder to this material and how, well, how the glue holds up. That's always a gamble, um, but that's my main concern uh, that the, uh, the soldering joints won't hold. So... I googled for copper tape and little did I know that existed um, and, and th what I didn't know it's even used to uh, repel snails you can stick this to your pots in the garden not sure if it shows on camera this is blue pot and there's this stripe of tape around the top edge and apparently it repels snails but it's uh, red copper and I'm pretty sure I can a solder to this and uh, stick it to the uh, to the circuit board. So I hope I can create new pads out of this and maybe even cut them a little larger so that they overlap the existing traces. And then I want to try and find out if the uh, the adhesive side of the tape can conduct electricity onto the uh, traces. So that requires le lots less soldering. So let's unpack this first. So 
make sure it's not coated or anything. That's super conductive. Didn't measure the resistance. And next thing I want to try is to see if it conducts electricity. Ah, oh, there's a bit that peels off. It's it's very thin. Now let's stick it on the tape roll. No, the adhesive doesn't conduct electricity. That's a bit of a bummer. On the other hand, if I cut some traces out of this, and I cross them, they're insulated from each other, so that gives possibilities. Um, let me explain why. Now the problem I have is that this soldering pad connects to this lead over here, and this pad connects to this point over here, so they would cross, otherwise... Um... Hmm. Coming to think of it, I can, uh, of course, I could rotate the direction of this diode, meaning I could cut an L shaped trace to this pad and an L shaped trace to this pad and just reverse the diode. Hmm. Now, the next thing we need to know is can we sort of do this copper tape? I'm gonna scuff it up a little. It's very thin, it's almost like gold leaf or leaf gold. Apply a little bit of flux, not sure if it's necessary because I don't know for sure. Ah yeah, that works well. That's a success. That's a nice bead. Okay. Don't burn yourself, Arnold. Cutting board out. Well, everyone, this is a new soldering pad I created. What I did is I took this copper tape and um, cut it to width, um, peeled it off the backing paper, used brake lean to remove the adhesive on the rear, then folded it three times, and I created a new lead. So, what I did, I took Two strands of copper wire, twisted it together, and then thinned it and thinned the upper side of my new created soldering pad. Now I have to attach this to one lead, and one lead on the circuit board is fairly damaged. I'm gonna put this one in. This is this one is the most difficult. And then when both are in, I'm gonna put a new diode in place. And when that is in place, and I, I will check the continuity again, and then use a uh, if the, if the continuity is okay, I'm going to use some epoxy glue to glue the pads to the board so they don't rattle off, vibrate off. And well, then we can put everything back together and test it again. Now, there we have it, folks. The new or the diode is back in. Um, it's firmly in place, and I checked for continuity. We still have continuity. So, what I'm going to do next is clean up the board with some isopropyl alcohol and apply some uh, epoxy glue and I want to protect the traces over here and I want to stick the pad a little bit more to the board and also to cover these traces I'm gonna check them for continuity again because I've rubbed over it quite some times quite a few times It's good. That's good too. Whew. Well, here's the end result. Everything is in and I covered it with some um, epoxy glue. I'm waiting for the glue to dry, to set. And I measured continuity again after I applied the epoxy and we still have continuity so this should be good. Well folks, there you have it. For the third time, the repair of the Lexus LS400 ECU. I'm going to visit my friend within the next two weeks and we're gonna install the ECU back in its original car, see if it'll start. I'll make some videos of that and if it starts, we'll uh, go from there. 
probably go for a test drive, see how the car behaves. So hopefully uh, all problems are gone now. Um, I'll uh, let you know in the in the future update. And if it doesn't run, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to show that too. But for now, let's keep our fingers crossed. And uh, thanks to my eagle-eyed viewer who pointed this out and uh, who has led me into this 14-hour repair in the cars over two days. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching and um, see you next time.